Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Review. In just a bit, I'm about to walk my happy butt over to the futon and check out the Netflix exclusive, Lift. This movie is directed by F. Gary Gray and it's starring Kevin Hart. It tells the story of a master thief who finds out about an airplane that's transporting a hundred million dollars in gold. And so he gets his team together for one last ride for that one giant score. I guess. I don't know. That's what they normally do in these movies, right? They get the team back together for one last giant score, right? Well, yeah, anyway, so this kind of film, I love. I love a good crime caper. I like a good action comedy. And the director, F. Gary Gray, does have some experience. He's also the director of the Italian Job remake, which I did enjoy. And the movie Set It Off, another movie that I enjoyed. Both crime capers. And just another fact, too, he also directed Friday. Yeah, so he knows his way around comedy also. All right, guys, well, enough of me sitting here yammering. If you're wondering why I'm checking out a streaming movie also, weather in Kansas City has been nuts this week. It has been up and down like crazy. Right now, there is snow all over the place. There's talk about ice. There's talk about rain. There's sub-temperatures and blah, blah, blah. Needless to say, I ain't going to go driving nowhere for a little while. So streaming movies it is. And if you're curious about what kind of weather I I'm having right now. I've actually did some videoing and I filmed some of it from my window. So at the end of the video, my outro, I've actually used the footage from the snow. So it's it's kind of cool. I don't know. I like it. Well, anyways, enough of me sitting here yammering. It's time for me to get over to the futon and check out Lift. Just getting done watching the movie Lift, and guys, I uh, didn't really care for this movie too awful much. Alright, well let's get this started, shall we? We're going to get things started with the negatives and then move into the positives to end the video on the ever so important high note. Okay, so the number one problem with this movie, I say right out the get-go, is the fact that this movie just moves along at a snail's pace. The pacing in this film is very, very slow moving, especially in the first and second act. When everything is being set up, it really takes a long time for you get to get to the caper, or at least it does, because there is nothing fun during the entire time. This movie is compared to Ocean's Eleven. This movie is nothing like Ocean's Eleven. It's actually a lot more like the Fast and Furious movies. Criminals get hired by a government entity to do something that they can't do because they don't want to get their hands dirty. Except it doesn't have all of the huge action sequences and the charismatic cast of the Fast and Furious movies. So take out all the stuff that makes the Fast and the Furious movies fun and you have Lyft. That is pretty much the best I can do for the analysis of this movie. It's just boring. There's not a lot going on here. There is tons of just tropes, been there, done that, and it's just very, very predictable. When the film finally starts get going, gets gets to going into the actual caper, there's really no caper there. They've spent so much time in the film, you know, telling you how you're going to how they're going to pull this off. Well, kind of, but they really f spend way too much time developing a love story between Kevin Hart and and this police officer character. They spend way too much effort in that area and not any time building the characters, building the team up, showing the camaraderie, none of that. Willem D'Onofrio is also in this film. He plays their, um, their, their, uh, well, basically their distraction. He's the master of disguise, but that's all he does. He distracts people. What's he even there for? And I thought, hey, this is going to be a lot of fun. This movie's a comedy, and we have, you know, Vincent D'Onofrio playing this goofy role where he's going to be playing all these different characters, and he's going to be able to show such a big drama, you know, his big range in acting, and just, you know, have a great time with what he does. No, no, none of that. He's barely in the movie. I don't even know what the purpose of him being there was, or at least him being in that movie, because you would expect an actor with his range to have a lot of fun 
fun in this film to do different characters and everything. And it never really comes up. There's a couple of moments and that's just it. So there's really no team atmosphere with this film. And that's one of the things with the Oceans films and these caper type movies that are really important is the team. It's not just one person. It's about the uh, son of a bitch. The family. The cast in this was good. I mean, they did the best they could with what they had. Unfortunately, though, I really feel that Kevin Hart was miscast in this film. I just had a really difficult time finding him convincing as a charismatic, you know, uh, cat burglar, global, you know, hopping cat burglar. He just didn't really come off that way, and I don't know if maybe he might have been miscast in this film. So that also kind of drags the film down a, lit, a little bit. All in all, guys, I don't know on this one. It's hard for me to give it like a really solid you should watch it kind of vibe but it's basically the kind of movie that if your kid's homesick and you're trying to get caught up on laundry and you're sitting there folding laundry and you just want to watch something that doesn't take a lot of you know I guess you could say attention to watch just something in background yeah this movie would be solid for that I guess I'm in the positives by saying this um, there were some moments in the film I liked. I liked the concept of the movie. There was a really good idea here. It was just a really bad script. And like I said, the actors do a really good job with what they have. It just didn't come together. The story, the the, the script, everything. It, it just kind of falls apart. Unfortunately, I'm having a really difficult time finding anything really solid positively to say about this film, except for the fact that the concept was there. It was just not executed very well. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks again for checking out The Film Geek. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give the movie, give the video the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one more thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.